Now, um, every morning, I'm going to be getting up and playing Mozart's clarinet concerto. One in Out of Africa, the one that Robert Redford played to Meryl Streep. Because I used to play that on the clarinet. Out. With Gary, the doctor, saying now that he's happy for him to continue, so we, as a team, will now monitor him, and we're just going to see how he handles the heat, his own body heat, and how he handles the terrain. Hours. And uh, yeah, just having a wave of exhaustion. This is not nausea. He was walking the last like, kilometre with Eddie. He keeps clutching at his side, can't cope with the heat. He gets like, slightly delirious. Yeah, it's fantastic, you know, what he's doing, the effort he's making, the gesture he's making, trying to raise money for people who are disadvantaged, but there's absolutely no point in injuring yourself making a situation that you might have worse just for the sake of that. It's not worth it. Hey Gary, so we have Eddie and Tina here. I don't know if you agree Gary, there's too many variables, too, sort of, too many things that are a bit weird for us to carry on. No, 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 we can't take the risk. So what I've spoken to the pathologist at East London, if you guys can get down there, and we can combine the two things that we have, that's what I would suggest, and then review that situation. Right, so get there, let's, let's get you to the hospital now anyway, and we go from there. Lovely. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Gary, Thanks, we'll guys. be in touch Thank later. You. He's dehydrating, and that is where the problem lies. He's had blood tests done again now. He's being rehydrated and he's on a drip. We're going to try and maintain that he doesn't run in the middle of the day, like he has been doing, and take him out of that gap, sort of like 11.30 to 2.30 or so. 